Hey guys, welcome back to Josh Eats, where we are going to do Halloween type things. Today, we'll be making Pinterest Halloween party snacks. First, we're going to make shot glass bloody eyeballs. Let's do this. Take your jello mix, pour a packet into a bowl. Yum, sugar crystals. Next, you'll take one cup of boiling water. Pour it into your bowl. And then I would just whisk it until it's completely dissolved. Next thing you're gonna do, depending on what you wanna do, I'm doing the quick chill method, which is literally taking two cups of ice and pouring it into the mixture. And you just stir that until most of the ice creams have dissolved. And then you're gonna pour your jello into these little Cute glasses. Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. And then you're just gonna take your peeled grapes and put them inside. So you're just gonna take your poured in shot glasses and you're gonna stick it in the fridge for about 30 minutes or until everything's completely set. Simple enough. So for our second party snack, we will be making witch's fingers, which I know you guys have seen everywhere on Pinterest and everything, but this is my own version of it. We will be using the dough from my pizza recipe, check above. Um, so you will start with the flour, baking powder, salt, oil, milk. Again, you can use any kind of milk. This time I'm using an almond coconut mixture. And because they are witch fingers, I will be making mine green. And then you just stir this all together. Okay, so now that you got your dough, you're just going to want to not roll it out, but just roll it out. <laughs> okay, and then you're just going to cut it into strips. You can make them as thick or as thin as you'd like. So you're just going to take some cheese, put it inside, and then roll your witch's finger. All right, so just put your witch's fingers on your baking tray. They look so gross, but also I can't wait to eat them. All right, so you just want to stick these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how brown they are. For our final party snack, we will be making cookie dough pumpkins. Okay, so it's the same recipe as the potato chip cookies, except we're not baking them, and putting in the potato chips is up to you. Start with your butter, or margarine, or vegan butter, whatever you got. Vanilla. Time for me to grab some witch's fingers out of the oven. Sugar. Flowers. Use food coloring to achieve the desired color for your cookie dough. All right, it's ready. And we're back with the witch fingers, and they turn out so much chubbier and cuter than I thought they would be. Not scary at all. Disappointment. So on the inside, as you can see, gooey cheese, delicious. You can definitely put more things in here. You can put like little pepperonis, um, mushrooms, anything you put in a pizza, anything you want to put inside a witch finger. <laughs> Sriracha, anyone? Ew, bloody. And you know what else we can add? It's really gross. What if this witch had a wart. Disgusting? I know. Delicious? I know. Okay, so you're just gonna take a scoop of your cookie dough, uh, stick it in something cute, like cupcake liner or whatever. Good cookie dough. You could definitely add chocolate chips to this if you'd like. Anyway, for the stem, we're just keeping it easy. I have some Smarties here. Just stick them in top, in the middle. The cutest little pumpkins you ever did see. So we got our cheesy witch fingers, our cookie dough pumpkins, and our bloody eyeball shots. So delicious. Happy Halloween, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment below which of these you would like to try, and what you're gonna put in your cheesy witch fingers. Take care, see you guys next time.
almost bats in the attic. 